Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo, the Jameson Wildlife Park, where we are doing our very best to try to educate our guests a little bit <laughs> so that we can finally finish up this very beaver themed challenge that we have been working on for quite a while now. And I think we might finally bust through all of this chaos with the help of our animal talk expert. I really love the fact that if the guests go ahead and they listen to the animal talks, then they actually end up having their education go from like whatever it was to 100%. So fingers crossed we'll be able to get even more great talks done and hopefully people will start learning a lot more and we'll even be able to like get education up even faster. Um, I'm thinking we should actually have multiple talks too. I think that these animal talk points can only do like one thing per, yeah, they can only do one thing per the um, year. However, if I put down two of them and then potentially, well, do I want them to overlap? I probably don't want them to overlap, but I feel like it wouldn't hurt to have like two talks going on at once to attract a bunch of people. So let me actually put this one down. And then we're going to have it be about the American bison and we're going to have it start in July. We're going to pause to see if we can actually get in front of this fast enough. Oh, and let me go ahead and pull up our wonderful list of patrons so that we can name our new animal expert. And this time that is actually going to be, let me grab the educator. Okay. And I can't name them till they come down. Gotcha. All right, so this one's actually going to be a Zelda. So we're going to call her a wild horse rescuer. Rescue. Uh, there we go. Zelda. And Zelda, thank you so much for supporting our adventures here in our wonderful, wonderful pixel biology community. And I really hope I can go ahead and get you to be this, this. Okay, don't, don't rest over here. I want you to turn around and become the animal education person. Idling, what do you think? Animal Talk 12 needs somebody? Ah, oh, dang it, all right. We're gonna have to go ahead and set this for August, I think. But I think having just multiple animal talk points all over the place might be the way to go for a little bit because that raises the education up so quickly. And I think we're going to need to make sure that our animal like talk people stay over here. So let me edit the work zone. And, eh, eh, okay. Very, very carefully come over. And I think we're having a animal talk right now that we actually have one of our new staff members working on. Yay, yeah, Prairie Grass Explorer Dragon Blade. Oh, we have two Dragon Blades. <laughs> what? Okay, I did not expect that. I didn't know we had two Dragon Blades. Uh, so let me go ahead and rename one of our Prairie Grass Explorers. So this is actually going to be, this is going to be, um, how about we have this be wetland ribbit expert, Petite, and Petite, thank you so much for joining us. Oh no, another one of our prairie dogs is about to die of old age. Oh, I can't watch, that's too sad, let me out. But now we have a whole bunch of people who can actually come and give speeches over here. Like, here we go, Wild Horse Rescuer Zelda is getting ready to go ahead and give her speech. We'll train her up so that she can become even more competent. And, oh, here she goes! Nice! So she's beginning her speech. And then we have, like, somebody over here who's only at 48%. 72%. People are starting to get a lot more educated. I'm really happy about that. 34% back here with Huey Kid, who also is dying of thirst, so maybe I should install another, another... Yeah, we could probably go ahead and install another one of the drink machines whilst he's over there. All right, we'll get a drink stall down here. And I'm gonna put in... Let's do a Cosmic Cow Milk, just as kind of a pun on the fact that there's a bunch of bison over here. All right, so we can see his education is at 34% as she's giving her speech and his happiness is at three. So maybe the way that the speech is given and how high quality she may or may not be at giving it uh, determines some of his happiness. Let's find out. I'm gonna speed it up just for a second. 
Does it last for a month? I think the speeches do last for about a month. Yep, there we go. So it's now over. There, 81%. Okay, and his happiness went up, I think, or down. Was it eight before? Okay, I hope traffic... Oh, he's going home! Curses! All right, I was hoping we would be able to, like, mitigate more people leaving, but that's okay. Meanwhile, one of the other things I was thinking about is maybe we can come and do another one of these small zones over on this side. And we can put a toilet in here. And if you want to come to the toilet, then you're going to need to learn, like, the secret toilet path. Then you're going to need to go ahead and learn a little bit about the animals as you come by. That's my goal. Alright, so we'll make the secret toilet path back here. And then we'll come over here. Down we go. Yes, yes. So here's our secret path, which I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. I think for just, no, my yearly profit. I think for just a second, we actually had um, three stars and then it went down again. All right, we'll work on that. I can't believe we're like going backwards. Two steps forward, like, or one step forward, two steps back with so much of this. All right, let's see. Aquatic toilets, Arctic bathroom, just simple. I don't want to use Arctic all over the place like I have been, but it's just the thing that fits the best. Ah, unfortunately. All right, here's a toilet cave. Hmm. Let's see. What's this one locked behind? Treasure trove toilet. Oh, that sounds like it'd be so cool. I'm a big fan of the treasure trove theme. All right. So we could hide the little toilet down here, I think. Yes, this would do, I think. Train modification failed. Curses. All right, let's hide it over here then. Yeah, this should do. We could probably hide a few things down here, actually. I like this idea. Here, we're gonna we're gonna make people have to work for it. If you want to arrive at the hidden path to the toilet, then you have to pass all of these. Whoops! Whoops! You have to pass all of these spots that are gonna educate you on the way. All right, let's see. That'll do. There we go, and then we'll get some more of the little education stations installed. Every little tiny bit seems to help after all. And then the problem with, the one problem with doing these paths is that it doesn't seem until I reload the zoo that these actually show up very thoroughly. There we go. And then we'll force people to like learn more. <laughs> By the way, you know, some places are terribly putting in advertisements that you're forced to see when you, like, fill a gas in your car or when you go ahead and you, um, like, use the restroom. Like, you have to you have to go to public restrooms and they'll have an ad play while you, like, wash your hands or uh, while you're waiting for the little paper towels to come out. I think that's just, like, criminal almost behavior. However... These aren't advertisements for products. These are just spots where people can hopefully learn a little bit more about life as they come through. And I'm sure that's going to just make them happier. Also, it looks like that adding in these connection points has hopefully made it so that we don't have nearly as much. Let's get some non-inbreeding on our beavers. Thank you very much. We don't have nearly as many guests going ahead and tripping over each other over here, so it's not nearly as congested. And we should always more or less have a good, ooh, lots of people here. We should always have a good speech going on over here somewhere. Aha, see? We sure enough do. So here's Wild Horse Rescuer Zelda giving another speech. Oh, she just threw some food to the prairie dogs. That's so cute. You people better have had your happiness go up on that because that was adorable. All right. And we'll get a couple more installed. Let's see. So I don't want that in November. What if we have like multiple? What about bison? There we go. Let's get some bison talks going on too. And we need to get pronghorns again because unfortunately our pronghorns passed on. Can I overlay? Okay, you can't overlay these talks on top of each other. However, let's have a February bison talk and we'll see if we can just constantly have educators educating here. I like it. It's kind of like the school of bison. 
And then we'll have another one for June over here. And we'll just see how that works out since I have so many educators assigned to this area. Yeah, all right, so how are we doing? 2.7, woo! All right, so a lot of the other places where we have a ton of people come over and need education. Can I link seating? Yeah, this is all linked. I feel like this talking point need so many more like we need to have this going more or less all year round so we're gonna have it start we're gonna go january february march like there we go april may or april yeah may june then we're gonna go july august september and then we're gonna have another one start like october november november there we go and I just, I want people like constantly coming in and hanging out over here. And we have enough educators, I believe, that we should have that work. But just in case we don't, we're going to continue to add more people in. <laughs> and we're going to have this be... Yay! Just right to work! I'm so proud! This is actually going to be chauvinist! So this is going to be Sea Life Explorer Shogunist or shot and antagonist oh my gosh you can tell i've been reading some japanese literature lately sorry about that shot all right shot for short we'll have you trained we're gonna go ahead and have you assigned to sill hills which is gonna have all of these things i know it's messy when i when i create these solutions to the challenges but I always appreciate how it teaches me so much more about what it's like to actually try running, like focusing on an area and running the zoo to focus on education, to focus on having like a wide diversity of animals in a small space. And I know I make very, very messy solutions to these things, but I'm really proud about what we do manage to accomplish. And even though it's really messy, sometimes I feel the most fun I have in Planet Zoo is when we have to make a gigantic mess and then clean up after it. And that may have just revealed to all of you wonderful people why one of my favorite games of all time is Gardenscapes and Homescapes, because it's messy. And then you clean it. I love games like that. <laughs> Maybe that's a good metaphor for like my life. That's because I grew up with like, I'm the old, I, like if my family had neat points, we have actively talked many times in the past about how I'm the only one with maxed out new points in my family other than my dad and brother. And like, it was, like yeah, sure, that's three out of six people. So half of us have new points. But when half of you don't, oh, does it ever become an issue so fast? All right, so we have this area where people are kind of milling about. Yeah, look at this. So now I feel like this sea life expert shot is just kind of like, in this zone and getting ready to give an animal talk basically at all times which is pretty awesome also we need more trash bins down here where are our um here we'll put this here we we'll put another one over here wait yeah we'll put another one over here and then maybe to attract people over to this side a little bit oh there's already a trash can up there i'm gonna actually install Ooh, there's an ATM back here too? Sweet! I mean, if you need an ATM though, then you need something to spend that ATM like Skrilla on, as they say. Uh, so let me give you... People are thirsty! And we're hanging out with like little water creatures, so we'll do some water. And then... Ooh, pizza! I want some nice vegan pizza out of a, like, no I don't, out of a vending machine. The more I thought about that, that was like, actually no, even if it was delicious vegan pizza, I do not want it out of a vending machine. Gross. <laughs> I rescind my statement. Never mind. All right, maybe that'll attract some people. Oh yay, we finally have the cleaning crew coming through. Leaf litter expert Lauren, sweet. Leaf litter expert Melissa, yay. Ski Slope Shredder Des. Oh, Des. Good to see you. Holy cow, it's been like years of working together, hasn't it? All right, so I feel like a lot of this should help. <gasps> We've done it! Okay, note to self. If I want to get education up, get like animal talk experts in. And I think I've been... Oh, it's down again. 
And I think I've been vastly too tentative with my animal talk experts. I've just had like one or two little talk points here or there. Forget that. I want there to be like locations where it's just going, going, going year round. You show up and there is somebody who is going to be present to tell you all about how cool seals are or something like that. All right. Good, good, good. Do we have some trash over here? Don't be rude. I understand I didn't give you guys enough spots though. I can concede that point. Here's some little trash bins. There we go, a little trash bin over by the restaurant, or restroom, pardon me. And then we'll add in some benches. <laughs> See what I mean? I just had no idea that my chaotic attempt to complete this as quickly as possible so I could play our Timberborn series would end up growing into having like these elaborate little hidden paths behind the restaurants and all these locations for like talking points. All right, so what do we need to do now? Well, our education keeps dropping below three stars. However, I have confidence that our, our talks will start piling up. We need to start making some actual yearly profit because I keep spending all of our money like away. Um, I probably need to go ahead and raise the, the price just a little. Maybe I'll raise the price of the restaurant. Let's do that. The restaurant's like pop and popular. Am I gonna charge for the toilet? I'm gonna charge five cents for the toilet. I'm very sorry. I know that's kind of rude. But if you have a nickel, not that anyone carries cash anymore, I will now charge five cents for the toilet. Does that mean we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna synchronize prices? All right, are we gonna make some money off this thing? It doesn't say. Oh wait, number of customers. Look, we've made eighty cents. Oh my gosh, I think I've entered the dark side having now charged people to use our toilets, but it helps to offset the cost a little bit. Oh, oh no, I've always felt bad about that. In Europe, I know that's a very normal thing, but it's just not really something done in the US. And I think a little bit of that is kind of tied into the fact that it's like a basic biological need people have. And I mean, I get that you need to like provide places for people to go ahead and actually, like it, it requires resources that you end up having to use. So I get that. But at the same time, look at all these people show up. Oh, this is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and see how our vet research is doing. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, so much more research. That will definitely help out with all of the animals that we have so that now people will be able to learn a lot more about them. Uh, and now we need to try to get a pronghorn antelope back. I think that that is the next goal. So we can start filling out some of these things. Whoa, vet research is complete again. All right, if that keeps up, I think we can actually uh, perhaps see some of our wonderful research assistants get a new job. Cough, cough. Oh dear. Rest in peace, little prairie dog. All right, let's wrap up today by going ahead and seeing if we can actually adopt ourselves a pronghorn antelope to replace the ones who passed away because there's only certain species that you can get in this challenge. And pronghorn antelopes happen to be one of them. There we go. All right, we're gonna get this nice male, this nice female, couple females, and then we'll pop in here and we'll send them on in. Perfect. Yay, all right, how are we doing? We're doing pretty good, you guys. And now I need to just stop spending money for a little bit and maybe uh, <clears throat> reassign some people <clears throat> so that we can start having a bit more of a profit. And then I think things are gonna start going well. Yes! So now we need to build a better beaver empire by having a bit more of a profit. So we'll have to see how that works out. But if you guys could, do please leave a like. There we go. Do please leave a like for the fact that now we have somebody squealing about seals 24 seven, which definitely seems to be helping our education. Uh, and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.